Hi everybody, so in video 1933 we made this stuff, what it is is graphene in water and it's kind of coated with proteins because of the way it was made and that makes it biocompatible as they call it. It means it mixes really easily with all kinds of water dispersions and that's what you want, you want to be able to mix it so you can do something with it. Now we've got two choices here, we can either leave this as is and put it into something or we can dry it. Now drying it's really easy, you just spin it up in a centrifuge at 1500 rpm for 45 minutes, set it out to dry and what you'll get is a whole bunch of this stuff which is graphene powder. Because there's graphene powder, we then want to do something with it. Now, tech ingredients mix this with an epoxy resin, but since it's a biocompatible, I thought I would mix it with a bio-based plastic. The earliest bio-based plastic we know of is casein. Casein's really easy to make at home, but it's one of those kids' experiments where you take some milk, and here's how you make it. <laughs> Okay, when you've gone through that process, what you get is this white powder, and this is just powdered casein. Now what we do to that is add 0.5% of graphene powder to it. You really don't need to add a lot to get an enhancement. And we only added 0.5% because it was completely random, we just chose something. And it turns it into this silvery powder. And what we do with that is put it into a mould. A mould is really simple, it's just a press and a bit of steel and you pour the powder into there and heat it to 135 degrees centigrade and then put about 20 tons on it which is what this press is. When you've done that you can take it out of the mould and there is our piece of plastic. Now this is incredibly strong. Let's give it a go of stabbing it and see how it holds up. We've been approached um, to see if it's usable for stab proofing. Uh, we're quite confident it is. So what I was going to do, I was going to use this brand new pristine piece. Um, but we've been having a go at this uh, and I'll show you the results in a minute. But we're going to be using an off cut that we've got. And we've hit this sort of 30, 40 times so far. I mean, if you're unlucky enough to live in a world where you need stat proofing, that's bad enough. If you're even more unlucky and you need some protection against about 30 stab wounds, <laughs> then that's even better. So what I'll do, I'll get this down on the floor. We've got a solid concrete floor behind this. And I'll give it a go with a sharpened, this is sometimes used as a weapon actually, sharpened um, screwdriver. So I'm uh, 16 and a half stone. Fairly big guy, so I'm going to bring this down as hard as I can and we'll see how it performs. <laughs> I can't do this. Does somebody else want to have a go? Mike, do you want to have a go? <laughs> do it, Mike. Go for it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Now you might have guessed from the footage, we did all of that some time ago, about seven years I think, and we actually sent it for testing and it turns out that volume for volume is about twice as strong as steel. Weight for weight, it's about ten times as strong. And we also took it to a firing range and here's a bit we've got left. Now um, we fired a nine millimeter at it and a three millimeter thick plate of this would stop a nine millimeter bullet. So. Graphene, incredibly tough stuff, particularly this stuff, because it's so easy to make, so easy to handle, and a piece of cake to add to a whole host of things. Definitely worth sharing. I hope people pick it up and start doing stuff with it. We're going to do a couple of other things, I guess, but I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you very much for watching, and please do remember to like and subscribe.